Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the radios in the Acre mod. So uh, that being the 119er, the standard 343 and the 117 man pack radio. Starting with the 343, if you open up the radio menu, by default that is Control, Shift and X, it looks like this. It has two knobs that you can turn, one is the channel knob, you can go up by left mouse stick and down by right mouse stick in and the volume knob. It doesn't say anything on it and if you click it you won't really see it do anything but um, you will have to try and figure it out while somebody's talking to you to properly set the volume on this. So there's not much to it. You set the channel to the desired one and close the menu and you're ready to go as you can hear. Okay, so uh, one thing that's very important and um, very nice feature about the Acromod is specialization. That means I can set different radios on different ears so I can distinguish between the two radios. Somebody's calling me on the 343 and uh, somebody's calling me on the 148. Uh, normally I'm going to have problems distinguishing which radio is currently active but if I set the 343 on the left ear and the 148 on the right ear there's no way I'm going to mix those two radios up. So what you're going to do is um, I always set the fire team radio, the 343, on the left ear, which you do by pressing Control Shift and the left key. And the 148 or 117, doesn't really matter, they share the same channels to the right ear. So that is done. And now if I open up the 343 again and uh, transmit via the radio, you're gonna hear it sound off on the left ear only. So, like this and the 117 on the right ear. And that is the same if somebody is calling you. So, next on to the 148. This is the second uh, biggest radio in the Acromod, which we are going to be using. And it looks like this. There's some more buttons to, for you to fill around with. Um, there is the channel button, where you can go up and down, like on the 343. You can also use uh, these up and down buttons if you are in the current mode selection. And of course there is a volume knob which turns down the volume and turns it up again um, the same way as it does on the 343. Only this time you can actually see there's this bar and the button says volume if you hover over it. So you can change channels like this, easy. What you can also do is change the power output something that you cannot do on the 343. So if you click on mode twice you see cur for current and new for desired power. And um, if you press the, well, simplest way is to just press down once goes to the maximum power this device has to offer which is 5000 milliwatts and then just press enter and you're set. It's uh, gonna change the power output for all the channels. So if I press mode two, more, uh, two times again you see current power is set to 5000 as is um, the new setting but I'm not going to change this. Just press enter again and there you go. You have the radio set to 5000 milliwatts. And uh, well, as I said, this has a different uh, frequency range. This cannot communicate with a 343 which broadbands, uh, broadcasts in the gigahertz band. This one has 36 kilohertz but it shares, uh, shares the same channels as the 117 has. So I'm going to close this, switch to the 117 and open that. This is the biggest radio you can get in the Acromod and it has um, well, some features that you don't find on any of the other radios. First of all the most important feature is if you set the mode, this knob here, to clear, you get a picture of Ferris Bueller which is uh, useless. Uh, sort of an easter egg. So switch it back to PT. I can even switch it off, which you cannot do with any of the other radios. Uh, switch it to PT. And um, you can change the channels, which you see uh, displayed here, by the preset knob or button. Up and down. This uh, radio actually has 100 channels. The 343 only has 15, so you see there's a large difference. And um, of course you can also change the volume by pressing the volume button uh, the same way as on the 148. 
You also have this uh, bar shows you what the currently selected volume is. And of course you can also change the power output. Uh, if you press program you're gonna see uh, that it asks you to select the net because in this radio you select the power output for each channel separately. So it uh, wants us to select the channel. We use channel 1, press the enter key and now there's this blinking screen where you can actually change the frequency of the channel you're using. We're not going to touch that, but you could also put in uh, custom frequencies. You could change the call sign, which isn't implemented yet, as is data or SQL. But what you can change is the power output. So <clears throat> power is blinking. I press enter again and you see the default power output is 5000, which is equivalent to the maximum power output of the 148. So if I want to change it, I select a new power by going all the way up to 20,000 milliwatts, which is the maximum power you can go to. So this is good for about 20 clicks on the map. The 1 for 8 is good for about 5 clicks for 5 kilometers. So I press enter again and I have selected the new power output for channel 1. As I've said, you can select different power outputs for different channels. But as batteries aren't implemented yet, so you don't really um, lose anything from selecting a higher power output, you can always go ahead and select the maximum power on all channels on all radios, and you don't uh, get a penalty for that. So basically this is how you use the 343, the 148 and the 117, which is uh, the biggest radio of the set. There's also the 119 radio, which I'm not going to go into, it's also a man pack. It's an old radio. The maximum power output of it in default is something like, I think, uh, 5000. But it has a PA mode, which means power amplified. And you could use this in vehicles. I'm going to show you real quick. It should be in this box. You cannot use the power amplified mode if you are not sitting in a vehicle. It will just give you an error message. Uh, let me see if you can find the backpack. Scroll all the way down. No, that isn't here. Yeah, 119 or PSC. So I'm going to switch the 117, and if I select it, it looks like this. So you can see it's quite old, it looks quite a bit different. It only has six preset channels, which you can change here. And um, there's the volume knob right here, so you can change it down to, uh, well, all the way down, or up again with a left mouse click. Um, the other channels don't really do anything, except uh, buttons, I mean, except for the power knob, which you can turn to high or low. And as I said, um, PA, but it tells you you can only use PA mode inside of a vehicle. Uh, real quick, it doesn't really matter what vehicle you get into, so I'm just going to use this small white shitty car. Uh, so I get in this driver or whatever seat, it doesn't really matter. And now I can select PA mode, which equals to 40,000 milliwatts which is uh, twice as much as the 117 has in its maximum power output, but you have to be in a vehicle for uh, this to work. So, that's it on the radios. Um, talked a bit about the 343, the 117, the 148, and now the 119. I hope you learned a little bit from this, and uh, see you soon.